More clips of interviews will be posted from artists such as Sonny Rollins, Wayne Shorter, Branford Marcellus, and more. If you find these interviews interesting and would like to support the project, please go to lesterlives.wordpress.com. Lester was a very free player. He sung his song the way he felt it. And technically on the horn, he played amazing on the saxophone. He, he played the heck out of the saxophone. But he didn't let his technique override his ideas, you know? And uh, you could see that in the short little clips of film that we have, uh, that we're lucky to have of him. Not much, but some things. He lived in, in his phrases, and the spaces became as important as the phrase itself. And then he played with a, a, a poetry of rhyming within his solo. Just that approach was uh, uh, just a part of his delivery, you know? There's a lot of different ways to say I love you, for example. He didn't say it the same way all the time. You know, you could say I love you. You could say I love you. It's the attitude of how you feel. And that feeling came through in Lester's playing on every solo that we've heard on recordings. And we've only heard a smidgen of the solos that he played in his lifetime. When he played in group settings with Charlie Parker and others, he stood tall and told his story. And the thing that always got me was when I realized how young Lester was when he passed. I'm not sure if he reached 50, man. I think it was, yeah, you know, 49. And, uh, um, he told some beautiful stories, you know? Mm -hmm.